funny thing is, is the future has nothing to do with what you knew in the past. And we all have a future ahead of us. So let's look at it and let's make the best of it. It's your chance, it's your shot. What are you waiting for? Hey everyone, just want to let you know uh, I appreciate you hanging in there with me. Oh, sorry. Mm. Just got back from the post office. Part of the new normal, I guess, right? So anyways, I just want to say thank you very much for hanging in there with me. Um, went through a little bit of a few snafus, not only personally, but with my computer. Ended up having to, my whole computer crashed, had to reboot the whole system. Been slowly trying to get it back together, getting my programs up. So yeah, unfortunately the Joey show could not go on during this time period, but here we are back again. And uh, hopefully my computer will hold out long enough till I can uh, figure out a way to get a more advanced computer that handles Premiere Pro operating system with 4K footage. So uh, yeah, I guess it's really a strain on it. So anyways, uh, today I guess Saturday, uh, and I don't know the number, it's what, 8th, 9th, 10th, I don't know. All I know is Mother's Day is coming up here real soon. So uh, happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. And I wanna wish a very special happy Mother's Day to my mom, Shirley. She is a phenomenal mother and I'm very blessed to have had her in my life. So anyways, um, here we are, we're gonna see if uh, this footage works on my computer and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a short episode today. Just keeping it real, man, just keeping it real. You know, I get frustrated like the rest of you about a lot of things and life ain't always easy. Sometimes it throws you a lot of curveballs, and you just gotta, gotta roll with it, gotta roll with it, keep going, keep going, move forward, move forward, don't go back, can't look back. If you start looking back, and wishing for the past, you're never gonna move forward. So, yep, just let it go, go forward, move on, onward, forward to better things. It's the only way we can do it. So let's just all stay positive. Let's get through this area and let's go see what's out there today. It's Saturday, the sun's out. Weather sucks though, but it's gonna be getting warm by Thursday. So, yep, Thursday back to the 80s and in the 80s plus for good, I think for the South for the rest of the year. We just had this lazy lazy cold front that was super super heavy just threw its blob right down here onto us in the south and it i feel sorry for everybody up north too i heard they got some snow snow so yeah what should we do what should we do we got a few minutes now let's go figure it out together see you in a sec aloha A lot of older guys, such as myself, being in the 50s and all, think uh, I could never have a successful YouTube channel. To be, have a successful YouTube channel, you've got to be some little kid or a gamer, or you got to be uh, someone who's doing skateboarding stunts or surfing stunts or doing crazy off the wall stuff or park more. But that's not the case. You can be a serious content creator and be an old guy like me 
and still make some wonderful pieces that are very viewable on YouTube. And uh, I have full, full belief that one day I will discover an audience. And I hope you're part of it. Thanks for subscribing. You know, I believe that now that things are opening up here in Tennessee next week, we're gonna, of course, do a five phase opening, but I believe that uh, the future is gonna be looking really good. And I totally believe we're gonna bounce back. It's gonna be stronger than ever. Today I'm here to try to figure out an answer to a question that's been puzzling me a little bit. It's why isn't my channel growing? You know, I, I make quite a bit of content and I think it's fairly viewable. You know, some of it's kind of weak, but a lot of it is really pretty good. But after uh, listening to a guy named uh, Sean Kimmel on uh, YouTube, who's had quite a bit of success, he kind of, uh, filled me in on a little information that I want to share with you. Um, the one point that I actually took from his big speech, you can watch the whole thing on his channel. I'll leave a link down below. But the main take that I learned was that when you're first starting out on YouTube, you're basically, you're a nobody. And no matter what you put out there, unless you have the right titles and you're providing some sort of service, whether it be information or answering a question, you're not going to get found so that's what I gotta do is trying to get found so I'm gonna and try to answer this question by saying yeah I want you to sure I want you to subscribe to my channel but you have to find me first in order to find me I've got to have a title that you're searching for so that's if you clicked on me you probably clicked on uh, why am I not getting a thousand subscribers to my channel there you go it's because you're not putting the right title and the right thumbnail. So to show up in the search engines, you have to answer a question. You have to be relevant. So I'm going to be relevant and let you know that's my tip for today. Stay tuned for more of what I do and enjoy my B-roll. And uh, I'll try to answer more questions in the future as I learn them. Because I'm learning too, just like you. So. Hopefully one day, if you're serious about getting subscribers to your channel, you'll pay attention to Sean Kimmel, or maybe you'll get some useful information that I get from him. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy this. Now, as long as you're here, what I'd really like to do is invite you to check out a few more videos on my channel and uh, just sit back and be prepared to be entertained visually. And if you like my music, even better. So, yeah, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Appreciate it. You have a great evening now. Take care. Aloha. It's